Hi friends this is 7th part of chat system in PHP using Ajax jQuery and in this part we will discuss how chat message receiver can receive chat message. Because in previous part we have already discussed how can we send message to other user and display on web page, but how this message will be received by receiver. For this we have go to index.php page and here we have make jQuery function name like fetch user chat history with to user ID as argument, this function will fetch particular user chat history. Under this function we have write ajax request and under this first we have write url option set to fetch user chat history .php page, here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method set to post, so here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write to user id variable, so this variable value send to server. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive chat history data from server which we can access from this data argument. Under this function we have write division tag id chat history with to user id variable value dot html method and under this we have write data, it will display chat history data under this division tag. Now we have moved to write PHP code under fetch user chat history .php page and here we have write include statement with database connection .php, it will make database connection on this page. Below this we have write session start function this function will start session on this page, so we can get value of session variable on this page. We have already make function for fetch history data under database connection .php, so here we have to simply call that function. So here we have write echo statement with fetch user chat history function with three argument like dollar session user id variable, dollar post to user id variable and dollar connect variable. This function will fetch chat history data of two user which we have sent to Ajax request and it will display this data under chat message dialog box. Now we go to index page and here we have go to make chat dialog box function and under this function here we have called fetch user chat history function and under argument we have write to user id variable. So when we have click on chat button then it has called make chat dialog box function for pop up chat dialog box then at that time it will call this fetch user chat history function and it will display chat message on dialog box pop up. So friends here first we have refresh page and here we have login as John Smith username and here we have already sent chat message to Peter Parker. Now we want to see history of chat message between me and Peter Parker, so we have click on chat button of Peter Parker and after click on chat button chat modal has pop up and here we can see chat history of me and Peter Parker. Now we have go to other browser in which we have already login as Peter Parker and now here we can see John Smith and David Moore user on web page and here John Smith status online. 
So we have click on chat message and here we can see chat message which sent by John Smith in Peter Parker chat dialog box. Now here we have sent some message to John Smith and go to John Smith login browser, but here we cannot see Peter Parker message, for see that message we have close dialog box ang again pop up dialog box. After again pop up of dialog box we can see message which has sent from Peter Parker to John Smith. So now we want to make real-time chat message system. For this we have go to index page and here we have make one function like update chat history data function. This function will fetch chat history data of all user and display under chat dialog box. Under this function we have write dollar with chat dialog box class chat history with each method, by using this method we can access all HTML field whose class is chat history. Under this function we have write variable to user id is equal to dollar this with data method and under this we have write to user id. This code will fetch value of this data to user ID attribute and store under this to user ID variable. Below this we have called fetch user chat history function and in argument we have write to user ID variable. This function will fetch chat history data of particular user and display under chat dialog box. This function will be called on every interval of each method and display chat history data on every chat box which has been open under web page. Now here in set interval method we have add this update chat history data function and this method will call this function on every 5 seconds. So on every 5 seconds it will display latest data under chat dialog box. Now friends here we have open both browser, on one browser we have login as John Smith and in other browser we have login as Peter Parker and in both browser we have refresh page. Now in John Smith browser we have click on Peter Parker chat button and in Peter Parker browser we have click on John Smith chat button. In both window chat dialog box has been pop up. So now in John Smith window we have type something in text area field and click on send button. After click on send button text area field has been clear which every we have type has been placed on here top of chat history. Here in Peter Parker window we can see chat message has been appear on top which has been sent by John Smith earlier, so this way real time chat application we can make. After this we want to display notification when someone has sent message on web page. For this we have go to database connection.php page and here we have make count unseen message function with three argument like dollar first user id variable, dollar to user id variable and dollar connect variable. Under this function we have dollar query variable is equal to select star from chat message table where from user id is equal to dollar from user id variable and to user id is equal to dollar to user id variable and status is equal to 1. This is select query for fetch chat message between two user and here status 1 means message is unseen by receiver user, so this query will return unseen message details. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, 
it will make query for execution. After this we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute select query. Below this we have write dollar count variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method, this method will return number of row affected which we have store under dollar count variable. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar count variable value greater than zero, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar output variable is equal to dollar count variable, so if dollar count variable value more than then only it will display notification message. Lastly we have write return statement with dollar output variable, this is output of this function which return notification message if there is any unseen message. For display new message notification we have go to fetch user.php page and here we have called count unseen message function with three argument like dollar row user id variable dollar session user id variable and dollar connect variable this function will display any new message has come from particular user if yes then it will display on web page this page data has been fetched by system on every 5 second so on any message has been received then it will display notification on web page after this when we have seen particular message then this notification has been removed from web page, database connection.php page fetch user chat history function. Under this function here we have write dollar query variable is equal to update chat message table set status is equal to zero where from user id is equal to dollar to user id variable and to user id is equal to dollar from user id variable and status is equal to 1 this query will update status of unseen message to seen by change value from 0 to 1 now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution. After this we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute update query. Now friends first we have refresh page in both browser, and now in John Smith login we have click on chat message of Peter Parker and type something in chat and click on send button. After click on send button then in Peter Parker window we can see one number has appear here John Smith username. This is new message notification which has been come from John Smith. Now in Peter Parker window we have click on chat button John Smith, after click on this button notification has been removed from web page. So this way we can add new message notification in chat application. So here our chat application by using PHP with Ajax jQuery is ready and here we have covered most of the feature if there is any other feature we have found then we will add into this chat application tutorial. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our youtube channel for get more update regarding release of future video
Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.